So here we go with the men's single skull. Myself, Greg Searle, alongside Mahe Drysdale. We missed the Japanese sculler, Ruta Arakawa. In lane two, it was Stefanos well and Tuskus. We're there Dane. seeing uh, Dane. the Dane. It was Ferry Nielsen. We're on to the German, Oli Zeidler. Here we go, Tom McIntosh, the New Zealander. And there we've got Christian Vasily, Vasilev of Bulgaria. And we're away straight into this one. I guess the form guide would be Oli Zeidler. And let's see what the rest of the world can throw at him. Yeah, Oli's uh, been impressive this year. Uh, world champion, obviously. And uh, but there's, um, you know, this is this is a stacked field. You've got the Olympic champion back. You've got the uh, former world champion, and uh, and then you've got uh, an Olympic champion in the eight, and Tom McIntosh from New Zealand. So it'll be fascinating to see how he goes today. Yeah, fascinating to see the New Zealander, as you say. He was in that eight that got that gold medal in Tokyo. Now he's in the single. I want to hear more about how he's got there from you, Mahe, as we're taking a look, trying to see who the early leader is. Unsurprisingly, you're going to see it's the German scholar. It's Oli Zeidler, who's out there in front. Ferry Nielsen going with him. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's going to try and get up in front. He tends to use rate a lot early on. He's at 43 strokes a minute still. Nielsen's doing the same, trying to go out with him. What do you think of the way he's sculling here? Yeah, he, he, he looks good. He's an uh, interesting um, sort of race profile because he's very, very fast, that first 500. Seems to take a break in the middle a little bit, um, you know, probably recovering from that, that fast start. You saw Tom McIntosh come right back to him yesterday and then he just put on the afterburners in that last 500. So I think the, the tactics here, if, if you're trying to beat him, is, is you've just got to just stay within touch and then really attack him through that middle of the race. Yeah, I'm sure that's the way to go, but he's done what is, is his hallmark, really, which is to go out here early in this first 500. I'm sure he's going to love these conditions here at Lucerne, this nice calm water, um, like it is in Munich, where he trains most of the time. It's Ferry Nielsen there in silver, if you can see, and then the Olympic champion and Tuskus um, being tracked by the other Olympic champion out of the eight, Tom McIntosh. So certainly a lot going on in the other medal positions, unsurprisingly, We've got that big lead for the German Sculler Zeidler here. But very close behind. Arakawa up there, he's on lane one. The Japanese Sculler's bit of a surprise package. Came through and got third place at the last World Cup race. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if he can force his way into those medal positions as well. Oh, I think it's fantastic to see a, a Japanese Sculler, you know, in the, in the heavyweight men's single. And, and you know, he's, he's competitive. And uh, so it's great to see these, these countries coming up. Yeah, he's a man moving forwards. So he was seventh at those home Tokyo Olympics for him. But now here he is in the final um, as we're looking through the distance here in the field. And it's starting to get a bit of spread. Um, Oli Zeidler here is going to be out in front as we look here. It's Ferry Nielsen. Um, back there, he was fourth at the Tokyo Olympics. Um, again, like all the scholars are going to be liking these conditions. You said it earlier, Mahe. How does it feel, do you think? Would you say which one of these scholars is most like the position you're used to being in? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm probably uh, pretty similar to Tom McIntosh there. Um, okay. And you know, you know, when you're in that position, you've got to have that middle thousand to uh, to close that gap. Um, you know, Ollie at the moment, he's he's able to relax. He's sitting there, he's watching the scholars coming at him. Um, it's a, a really nice place to be. Um, you know, when when you can hold that that sort of margin, I think. Looking at that margin there, you know, it's going to be very hard for anyone to, to really challenge him for that gold medal. Yeah, I get you. So that position of Oli Zeidler, he's, he's done what he likes to do. He's got control there. But, yeah, you said you, you might be in this position of Tom McIntosh. Put us inside the boat. Put us inside the head of someone who's sitting here in the middle of a sculling race like this in the, in the third quarter. Yeah, so it's, it's really hurting here. Um, I guess the way I always used to think of it is... Uh, you know, we, we trained so hard in New Zealand that I knew that no one else could take the pain that, that I could. And, um, yeah. you know, it was really just putting the screws on here. Um, you know, you, you sort of, if you, if you think about your race profile, generally everyone slows down. It's their slowest 500, that third, and I always tried to make it one of my fastest. And, uh, you know, you can make, you know, three, four seconds quite easy, um, yeah. you know, by, by doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great thing to know that you can make three or four seconds in a single skull. And Tom McIntosh here, we can see him. He's toughing it out in this third quarter. He's got himself fairly clearly into that bronze medal. He's looking. Here he is in the front of the picture. I'm sure it's hurting. But he still looks like he's sculling pretty well to me. 
Yeah, he's, he's doing well. Like, you know, this is a guy that's that's been in the single skull for eight weeks. Eight weeks, really? And, um, you know, he, he went to Japan. He, he uh, won the Japanese championship in the eight. And that sort of inspired him to come back. And he's he's come back and, uh, you know, beat all comers uh, to take this spot. And, um, you know, he's clearly uh, doing very, very well. So I think, you know, he, he's going to grow in the next kind of year. Um, but, um, you know, he's, he's doing a, a, a very good job for his first World Cup. He's doing a fantastic job in his first World Cup. He looks like he's sculling beautifully. These conditions, again, probably help him that it's fast, it's fairly flat in a tailwind, as we can see, coming through 500 to go. Oli Zeidler, he's got that lead. It's been closed in a little bit by Sferi Nielsen, starting to close that gap. Oli, you know, he goes out hard, he goes out early, you know, but he looks so passive in his face. But, but you know it. It's going to be hurting, isn't it? Oh, it's hurting a hell of a lot here. And, uh, you know, you just, just got to, you know, by this time I'm usually counting strokes. That's just the way you kind of uh, yeah, distract okay. yourself from the pain. Um, you know, this is, uh, it's, it's certainly closed up, but I, I think Oli is, is in control here. I think he's going to hold on to this. But Yeah, but it's amazing. Look, he's down at 36 strokes a minute. It's almost, you know, his rate is coming down as he's coming into the last 500. It's very Nielsen's going up. But you see it on the boat speed. Ollie's boat's still moving quicker. As uh, we see, still really nice sculling here from Tom McIntosh. Um, and he's going to try and push on that pace. But Zeidler, wow, look how he's gone away now. Yeah, I think like, it's, it's um, you know, I'm, I'm impressed by uh, what Tom's done here. Uh, you know, he's, he's actually never raced at a, at a world, uh, sorry, even a, a national champs. Um, so this will be one of his, his first sort of competitive races outside of trial. And, uh, you know, to come away with a, a medal will be a, a pretty special moment. Yeah, fantastic from Tom McIntosh. And amazing here from Ollie Zeidler, how he has just roasted the field in the last 250. He has taken about three lengths of everyone else in 250 metres. He let them come back to him, but it is gold for Oli Zeidler. It's going to be silver for Sperry Nielsen. And then Tom McIntosh gets that fantastic bronze eight weeks into his sculling career ahead of Arakawa up there in lane one, getting the fourth place. It's going to be Vasilev for fifth and then coming in for sixth place uh, where are we going to be going? I'm looking across here. It's Santuskas, the Olympic champion. Not his day today. Yeah, I think Oli Zeidler, you know, he just controlled that race and uh, he sent a message in that last 250 just yeah. saying, you know, you've got you to be in front of me if you, if you want to beat me and, um, you know, I can, I can just go and play with you and put three links on you. So, yeah. you know, that was, that was very much a psychological uh, yeah. shot over the bow to say, you know, I'm, I'm the man to beat. Yeah, no, it really was, wasn't it? The way he just let the field come back to him, and then when he needed to, he absolutely put the hammer down. Um, it, it was fantastic. 